Hi, my name is Ray Delahousie. As well as being a manned pilot, I'm also a Part 107 remote pilot. In this video, we're going to share tips on how you can fly your drone safer and smarter. Drones are an amazing technology and they've come such a long way in how they operate and how we operate them as well. Things are a bit more complex, not only our drone's ability to fly, capture photos, videos, but the ways we and our drones interact with the complex airspace around us. So let's take a look at how you can fly your drone safer and smarter. So whether you're going to be flying something like this or this, it's super important to do a proper and complete pre-flight inspection. So when you're doing your pre-flight inspection on your drone, here's a few things to keep in mind. First, look at the prop. Make sure there's no nicks or cracks in them. Check the body of the drone. Make sure, again, there's no deformations in the body. There's no cracks, tears, anything that could make the drone unsafe to fly. Make sure your batteries are fully charged, you've got backups, and inspect the batteries on the outside of the case as well to make sure there's no deformations or cracks. Make sure your firmware and all databases that you need to fly safely and accurately are up to date. When you're doing the firmware upgrades, chances are you need your drone connected and on. So in doing so, make sure, as a safety tip, to keep the props off of the drone while you're powered on and doing the firmware upgrade. Something else I like to do to fly safe and smart and to be prepared is to do a little bit of reconnaissance. So if you've got time to go out to the job site where you're going to fly and film, it would benefit you to do so. You can make notes on obstacles, terrain, potential flight paths, flight risks, and that allows you to brief your team in the morning before the flight and it makes you look like a professional pilot. And in doing so, chances are you're going to get a lot more work. Another tip is you always want to have a spotter. Whether you're flying recreational or you're a Part 107 pilot, you should always have a spotter. Think of this as flight following in the manned aviation world. It's always great to have another set of eyes watching your line of sight, potential obstacles, and just helping you fly in a more safe and smart manner. Now, another thing we can do is get a LANCE. LANCE is a low altitude authorization and notification capability. And it's a collaboration between the FAA and the drone industry, directly supporting UAS integration into airspace of manned operations. So here is what a LANCE provides. It provides drone pilots with access to controlled airspace at or below that 400 foot level. Awareness of where pilots can and cannot fly, basically. Air traffic controllers then have visibility into when, where, and the altitudes we're going to be operating those drones so they can coordinate and plan accordingly. You can submit a near real-time authorization request for operations under that 400-foot level in controlled airspace around airports. Now, this is available to Part 107 pilots as well as recreational flyers. You can submit a lance through several different service providers, as you can see in the list on your screen, such as a loft and air map. Now, you can apply up to 90 days in advance of a flight, and the approval is coordinated manually through the FAA, available to Part 107 pilots only. Now, to qualify under Part 107, you must register your drone and hold a remote pilot certificate. Now, Lances are currently available at 726 airports and it's continuing to grow. You can find more information on Lance and its process at faa.gov forward slash UAS. And we've put the link in the video below to help out. Now hopefully those tips help out or at least get you going in the right flight path. I know, I have to put an aviation pun in there somewhere. So, Seriously, if you need help getting your remote pilot certificate, visit us at m0a.com, click on the unmanned link, and begin your remote pilot journey. Hopefully that helped you guys out. Have an awesome day, and remember, a good pilot is always learning. See ya.